الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي رسول وأولو الأمر منكم and always a reminder for myself and عبدك العجيس الضعيف ومسكين الظالم and by the grace of Allah that we are still in existence and alhamdulillah that Allah granted us to enter into this holy month Rabbiul Awal and these holy nights of Milad al-Nabi and we said that this night comes for a few nights of the year which is an immense opening. Every It's like a bab, a gate into a reality. Those whom been trained to observe it and come with ishq and muhabbat, good manners, good character, they have an immense reward from Allah that if they don't know it, they know it, it doesn't matter, Allah inshaAllah to plant the seed of that light within their entire being, within their soul that opens every reality and every rahmah and every mercy. Means that we described before that this is the oceans of immense tawheed. This is the reality of La ilaha illallah wanting to be known to the creation of Muhammadun Rasulullah Without Muhammadun Rasulullah nobody would have any understanding of La ilaha illallah. And Allah describes, I am and I was a hidden treasure wanting to be known. And the moment Allah wanted to be known brought creation. That ocean, that light is called Muhammadun Rasulullah That by celebrating the milad and observing the milad and having that love and respect it's a way of marifa back to these oceans of reality that, Ya Rabbi grant me from the reality of that light when that light coming into existence. It is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad it is the love of Holy Qur'an and it's the immense love of Allah because they found the treasure. Allah is a treasure wanting to be known. And Common people and other people think they get to know Allah by seeking Allah but that's an ocean very far away. And Allah described, I'm not in heaven, I'm not on earth, I'm in the heart of my believer. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh, this is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs. Please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also. Be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Qalb al Mu'min Baytullah means this is a not so easy path that people just think they thought of it, oh that's the way I'll just go straight to Allah Allah is a hidden treasure hidden treasure wanting to be known. Means that it requires the seeker to have a good heart, a loving heart, a kindness, a humbleness in which they're humble to seek out, where are Ya Rabbi with all my ishq and muhabbat for you Ya Rabbi where are you? I'm so near that you can't imagine and yet so far away from your understanding. And the way of marifa, the way of ishq and muhabbat and love, Allah begins to guide us. They come to me, accept my oneness, accept there's nothing but Allah And as soon as the servant begins to move to that reality, Allah begins to grant them a light and a love and hidayat. When Allah want to grant the servant guidance, 
he guides them to Muhammadun Rasulullah So we lay the foundation that those whom claim they love Allah this is Allah wanting to be known. Those who claim they love Qur'an, Qur'an al-Majeed, this is the way to Qur'an al-Majeed. And those that claim and love Sayyidina Muhammad this is the mifta rahmah, the key of mercy, the key of every opening. That as soon as we come for the love and the ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad begins to dress us, begins to bless us, give us the khuluq and the character of perfection. And as a result these lights begin to enter into the heart of love. And then as soon as they observe the milad, that's why all awliyaullah wherever they go the first thing they have to establish is milad al-Nabi It's not something small, it's not something where people say, oh maybe there's some controversy, we don't have to discuss this, there's no controversy. It's the pinnacle of our faith. Iman is to love Prophet more than you love yourself. So how can you, you love Prophet without knowing the reality? So then these majlis of ashiqiyoon, the one who came and inspired through love and they're coming and say, Ya Rabbi this point of origin, this reality of finding you and understanding you and trying to know you Ya Rabbi grant it to us on the milad, grant that light that comes into existence by that nuqt Ya Qarani. Huh, what's the nasheed we have? Tiny. <laughs> that as soon as the nuh came, Allah wanted to be known. That point of boom coming into existence, that all universe is coming into existence. Allah created all of it to be known. All of that in Bahrul Muhit, all of that in Bahrul Muhit. The all-encompassing ocean and it's a big meme, big meme, Bina Ahad wa Ahmad is meme. Allah wanted to be known by the reality of this meme that everything in it. When Jabbar, Hadith Jabbar when they asked Prophet Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem, what was the first thing that Allah had created? The light of your Nabi. Before there was Arsh, before there was Bayt al Mahmud, before there were paradises and angels, my light came into existence. From what light Allah going to make that? La Shariq, you'll never enter into La ilaha illallah. You can only witness La ilaha illallah. There's no oneness for you to enter, la shariq, la shabi. There's nothing like unto Allah You can't share a breath and a space with Allah Means you can only witness that reality. But when Allah wanted to bring creation into existence, boom kun fayakun, all the light exists. From that light the angels were made. And Allah gave us a hint, they're called malaika, meme. You wear the amama because it's a meme, right? You can't wear this without the tail because the, the meme has a tail. Otherwise you'd be a… what's the one without a tail? You'd be a half? Ya Muhammadiyun, this is the crown of, of who you are. Malaika, that Allah gave us all hints. What make them to be noble is the Muhammadan light that Allah made them from. Bayt al Mahmud, all of these paradises and heavens and realities and everything, Arsh al Rahman. It's all from the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah Allah is nowhere to be found, Allah not sitting on a chair, 
this Wahhabi belief. Allah created from the light of Muhammad wa Rasulullah the Divinely Throne and the servant sits upon the throne and Allah sits upon his heart. Everything is from Muhammad wa Rasulullah All paradises are making salawats. Every angel that comes into existence is making salawat al Nabi So the milad is the opening of that reality for the servant. The Ya Rabbi we came with ishq and muhabbat, we came from a false existence and asking to enter into our real reality. Grant us an opening, inna fatanaka fatan mubina. Grant us a, a a clear opening, a real opening in which Allah by virtue of the milad and Nabi opened the heart of the servant from their fake existence to their real existence. Where Mawlana Shaykh would always say, seek eternity, seek eternity, be eternal, seek your eternal reality. Allah gave us a fake existence like a candle and time is running out. You don't know at what time your flame is going to go. Allah gave this flame for us, this candle, some candles burn long, some come in very short. And our life was to take this flame and make it to be real. With the time we have, with the money we have, with all the opportunities we have, is, Ya Rabbi let me seek your reality, let me into the oceans of eternity, let me into the oceans of your reality. And then when Allah قُلْ إِنِي كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُونَ Allah, Because these are now the ones whom are looking for the love of Allah They're coming, they're honest, they're sincere and Allah is dressing them, قُلْ إِنِي كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُونَ Allah, Tell those whom, who want my love. Fatabiuni, Fatabiuni, follow you in everything. Fatabiuni never ends, it's not one action. That our whole life, Fatabiuni, is to follow the way of Muhammad and Rasulullah with khuluq, with character, with mannerisms, with beauty, with character, with class, with every beautific reality of Sayyidina Muhammad because Allah loves what He created to be known by. He created Prophet the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah to be known by it. He made it to be the best, the most beautific, the most fragrant. When Allah describes khuluq al azim, He's so pleased at His own creation that you are of a magnificent character, giving us the hint, be from this character. Fatabiyuni wa yuhibukumullah. Then we gained Allah's love, and our whole life is then the blessings of Allah's love. But every time Allah looks to us, he sees Muhammadun Rasulullah and Allah's love again dressing and dressing and dressing the servant. Because He created, I say, created that to be known, I love that reality. When He looks to the servant and He doesn't see, it's a disappointment. But when He does see, this character and beautific reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah Allah My love is always on Muhammadun Rasulullah So means that's why we imitate, that's why we have turban, that's why we have beard, that's why we wear the sunnah, we're Ahlul Sunnah means that if you're Ahlul Sunnah you have to have the sunnah. Otherwise don't say you're Ahlul Sunnah, you're Ahlul your own self. So Ahlul Sunnah, why? Because they love Sayyidina Muhammad 
they want to live and die in that image. If I'm going to die right now outside, because you can't prepare for your death, so oh, I'll be dying in two months, by then let me grow my beard and put my turban and, and look like that. I want to enter the grave looking like the one whom I love. At any moment I get hit by a bus, I'm going to see my Maker in the image of Muhammadun Rasulullah and it's for Allah to judge, not only your image is correct, but your character is beautific like Muhammadun Rasulullah Then we gained Allah's satisfaction. All the praying in the world if you don't have that character not going to help you. All the zakat in the world if you don't have that character not going to help you. All the jihad and the, if not with that character Allah not going to help you. Every amal that someone can do if it's not with this character is not going to help you because there's hadith for that too. That they brought the one whom prayed a lot and Allah grabbed him and said, drag him with his face out of here. The one who gave a lot Allah brought to his presence and drag him with his face out of here. It's not what saved the servant. What saves the servant is how much they are Muhammadun Rasulullah how much they are Muhammadiyoon, how much they keep that love, how much they keep that character, how much they try to emulate the one whom they love and to be from that ocean. And why Allah then described your protection, how can I punish them? How can I punish them when they make istighfar and that you are amongst them? Because those ashiqeen, another hadith Prophet described, you be with whom you love. When we have this ishq and love for Muhammadun Rasulullah he's accompanying you every time, everywhere. You're making durood al-sharif and Prophet light, dressing your light, keeping the companionship of Sayyidina Muhammad and making istighfar. Ayatul Kareem is describing, how can I punish them? When they're making istighfar and you are with them. It's not a history, it's not from that time, but Qur'an is from this time right now. Allah is giving a remedy, how can I punish you if Prophet is with you and you're making istighfar? So this is the dalil of the ishq and, and muhabbat to be Muhammadiyoon, that dress Milad the Nabi Those whom observe and respect and love and have an ihtiram of the mawlid, Allah grant an opening of that light within their heart and that that light enter their heart and begin to fight for them. That light enters into the heart, it's the Muhammadan light that enters your heart. When it enters into your heart his light begins to fight for faith into your heart. You have no ability to keep faith in your heart. If shaitan want to hit you, he would decimate you. But who shaitan has no power with? Sayyidina Muhammad If Nur Muhammad begin to enter into the heart of the servant, inna fatanaka fatan mubinan. لِيَكْفِرُكُ ma تَقَدَّمُ دَمِّكَ تَأَخَرْ يُتِمَ نِهْمَتِهُ عَلَيْكَ فِي السِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمًا وَيَنْسُرُكُ اللَّهُ نَسْرًا عَزِيزًا Means that the might and majesty of Allah is with Nur Muhammad entering into your heart. It says, I'll forget everything you did in the print, I'll forgive everything you did in the past. I set your entire account to be straight. Because if His light is in your heart, you are on Siratul Mustaqeem. And anything that comes in your way, Yansuruk Allahu Nasran Azizan, I will decimate them. That nothing will stand in your path if Muhammadun Rasulullah light is in you, Allah's with you. Because you now completed, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah. So they live in tawheed. Let the people who think they understand tawheed and they don't do anything from that reality. We pray that Allah grant us these lights and the immensity 
of the milad and the immensity of these blessings and that Allah grant us from these realities for the sake of our love for Sayyidina Muhammad for ourselves, our families and our communities inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.